Okay, I just got through making a string for this bow, um, but I forgot to uh, videotape it. But anyway, it's got two loops on each end. It's uh, 14 strands of uh, B50 uh, string, and right now I'm going to serve the string. Um, I got my little homemade uh, string server here. It's just a piece of metal with a bolt going through it and it's holding the uh, the serving string and when I serve the string I usually go in the direction of the twist of the string that way it'll uh, help tighten it up but anyway so here we go I'm gonna go do this for a while I don't know if I'm gonna film the entire process but um, at least we'll let you show you how my uh, string server works you just gotta get it set up and you gotta adjust the tightness on it so that it doesn't, you know, unspool from the spool. But once you have it set up, you can pretty much just, uh, it just needs to be tightened just a little bit more. Cut off this excess here. And you can just start wrapping it around the string. It's a little too tight. Okay, so uh, I turned the video off because uh, I didn't want to film the whole thing, but I'm almost done here wrapping this. And um, as you get to the end, um, show you what we do. I guess that's far enough. So we just take off a length of it. Cut it off. We make a loop and then twist back the opposite direction about uh, seven or eight times. Slide it underneath itself and push the loop back around. I know you can't really see what I'm doing here, but it's kind of difficult to do this and hold the camera at the same time. And um, So there you go. There's a finished uh, serving. I usually like to go from uh, the the fade to the fade that way I know I'm covering the entire length of the handle so depending on where you shoot you'll always have serving um, on there for the to knock your arrow so there you go I got the string made and um, I'm just going to cut off this little tag here and put a little touch of uh, super glue right here to keep it from unraveling and, uh, and then the string making uh, for the bow will be done Okay, so um, we're back, and what we're going to do, I'm going to put the uh, snake backing on the covering the rawhide on the back of this bow. Um, what I did was 
I put some masking tape on the sides because I don't want the glue to uh, overlap, you know, cover the sides and then I have to take it all off again. Hopefully uh, I'll just be able to peel it off with the uh, masking tape. Uh, that way it'll be a little bit neater and um, I won't be uh, sanding down wood that I don't really want to take off. Okay, so um, I've got the snake skins uh, soaking in some water just to soften them up. Um, I had to get all the salt off of them. They were salted and there was still some salt on the back here. And um, so they're pretty pliable now. And uh, I'll be uh, turning the video off and then getting set up and then showing you how I go about that. I'm going to try to uh, incorporate this rattle somewhere on the bow too. I don't know how good of an idea that is because, you know, it's, it's a rattle and <laughs> it may not be uh, conducive to quiet hunting but um, I think it'll be a nice cool touch and um, we'll put that on the bow somewhere okay so um, I'm just gonna let it soak for a few more minutes and then uh, get started okay so here we are um, just like we did with the rawhide we're going to uh, dry off this snake skin, put the back down first, and dry off all the excess moisture off the uh, inside of the snake skin. Just pat it dry. And when you put snake skin on a, on a bow, and a lot of you guys I'm sure know this, because everything I'm doing isn't anything new, it's just the way I do it, um, is uh, the snake skin doesn't really add or protect anything on the bow. It may waterproof it a little bit, um, but it doesn't add any, any strength to the bow like sinew or rawhide does. And in this case, we're just uh, using it as a decorative uh, accent to the bow. So um, it doesn't really add any performance uh, to the bow other than possibly helping to reduce uh, moisture into the, uh, into the backing or into the bow from the, you know, if it's not backed or if it is backed, it's to help protect um, you know, from water, from water uh, getting into it. So we're going to lay that on the bow right there. Looks about right. This other one. Just dry it off. Okay, so there you go. I've got it on the bow. Got it pretty much laid out where I want it to be as far as where the positioning of it on the bow. And um, 
I want it to cover a portion of the handle that's going to be wrapped. So that's about where it needs to be. And then when I wrap the handle, I'm going to wrap it from, uh, you know, fade to fade and it'll cover this middle section of the bow. But basically I've got it uh, pretty much where I want it. There's a hole right here. I don't know where that came from. But um, it'll be alright. I'll just color it or something and hide it. But um, anyway, so here's the snake skin and we're going to be uh, gluing it on the bow now. So there's kind of an idea of how it's going to look. Again, what I said before, I'm going to paint these another color. Um, you know, to camouflage the tips there. And I think it'll look pretty nice. Anyway, um, I'll turn the video on when I get the glue out and start gluing down one, one of the limbs here. And then I'll glue down the other limb. Okay, I've got the glue down on the bow, and I'm just spreading it out a little bit. Nice, even coat. Now I'm going to lay this snake skin on the top. Get her centered as best as you can. Try to push out any uh, air bubbles that might be uh, present. And any excess glue. So there you go. Here's where that hole was. Um, but anyway. Sorry about that. Uh, the memory card on my camera got full, so I had to go download it on the computer and come back out. So anyway, the uh, glue and the uh, snakeskin backing uh, for one of the limbs is now complete. Now I'm going to work on this limb. But you can see uh, it's laying pretty flat on the bow. I got all the air bubbles out of it. And uh, that looks pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to do this bow now, or this limb now, and uh, turn the camera on again when I'm done. Okay, so I got the other side of the limb glued down. Uh, I found another hole right here. But uh, that's alright. Gives the bow some character. Anyway, so uh, there you go. Um, I'm going to let this dry for, for a day, overnight. Um, and then we're going to uh, remove the excess skin after it dries. And uh, after that, then we'll uh, wrap the handle and then uh, paint or camo the, uh, the tips. 
So uh, there you go. Um, that's the uh, snakeskin backing on a hickory bow.